Although it's always an early start at the centre, we're never the first ones up, and there are often one or two visitors already on site when we go outside. The early start enables the more timid residents some freedom before it gets busy. Sally knows the routines and joins Nikki on her rounds. Morning meals are prepared and an air of expectation hangs over the premises. Sally soon learned that one advantage of helping out on the rounds is being in a position to be fed first. Food bowls are distributed and all the dogs have their morning meal in peace and without distraction. Far better for the digestion that way. Water bowls are topped up under Sally's supervision. It's a great start to the day, but the sun's up there somewhere. Other volunteers start to arrive between 9 and 10, some bringing dogs with them. As volunteers start taking dogs out for walks, their accommodation is cleaned by others and made ready for their return. Sue's been staying on a working break, finishing today. Equipment is also cleaned, ready for reuse. And the man with the bigger shoes seems so polite. Well, not today, my friend, maybe some other night. Elsewhere on site, some building work's going on to create a new close passage in front of the old stable block. Outside, a damaged retaining wall is repaired. Grooming is good for socialisation and bonding. Abby takes care of some pups in the orchard. And it's time to make it last. Let your grandkids be a motive instead of the cat. Meanwhile, someone has spotted a food delivery approaching. We use the same food everywhere in Border Collie Rescue, so that if dogs are moved around the country, they can remain on the same diet. Gilbert can send individual sacks by mail order to any of our foster homes anywhere in the country, although we tend to buy a bulk at the centre. Sue spends a few minutes with one of her favourites before she goes back down south. Some of the house dogs enjoy a bit of time on the front lawn in the morning sun. Having topped us up with dog food for the next week or so, the lorry rumbles off and Merck lets himself back into his crate while everyone sat his home. <laughs> Meanwhile, back in the house, Michelle is tidying up the ground floor rooms, watched by her dog Peppy. As we have guests in the house tonight, the reception rooms need to be put in order and the bedrooms prepared for their arrival. We have two guest bedrooms, which are set up as a king-size double and a twin. The twin also converts to a super king-size double bed. The rooms have little guardians to watch over visitors. Overlooking the orchard, we have a spare staff bunk room for volunteers staying overnight or students on work placements. This room also has its guardians. Lunch is being prepared for volunteers that will work in the full day and is generally taken between 1 and 2 p.m. after any morning volunteers have left before the afternoon shift. Immediately after lunch, we get a visit from Tanya, our centre vet, who's come to Booster Merck and check Buddy, our elderly resident New Zealand hunter who had a stroke two days ago. 
Normally fit and strong, Buddy was unable to stand after the stroke. But two days later, he was able to walk, although rather unsteadily. It's quite common in all dogs. And some of them do, and some of them don't. I've seen them a lot worse than him. So we'll hope he things because it just carries on improving like this. And it's only been 36 hours, so normally, you know, it can take up to weeks for them to actually improve. So it's very dangerous at the moment. That's it. But as long as he keeps going in the right direction, that's fine. Yes. Let's hope you just carry on improving, buddy. Okay. Alright. Yeah, we'll Come on, sweetheart. Off my toe again. There you are. <laughs> See if you can turn around. There you are. Good luck. There he is. Come on, Mick. <laughs> right, so he's in for a booster today. Yes, he is. Right. 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 There's a good boy. Good boy. Stay. There you are. Good. Good right. lad. That's, That's very good. What a good boy, such a good Good will be worming him regularly. Yes. That's right. And he'll be uh, front loading and work before he goes off to his new home as well. That's super. In the afternoon, while the dogs have a siesta, work carries on around site. Today, a bank is being cleared for planting. There's always something to do in Border Collie Rescue. While this is going on, foster carers Suzanne and Chris have brought 10 year old Taffy in for an assessment around sheep. Although he's always been a pet, Taffy does demonstrate some of the inherent instincts of the breed and we need to know how he would react around livestock. He is interested and shows some inclination and ability, but he is controllable and not likely to be a liability. After finishing with Taffy, the trainee sheep take time to frolic around at Play King of the Castle, while Nikki takes the opportunity to give Gail a short training session in the six acre field. Gail is in training to be a lead dog and work controlling the sheep during assessments. She's coming on well. By this time, the last of the volunteers are leaving, but a sheep farmer from Bedfordshire has arrived to see Dan, who is thinking of taking on to train as a sheep dog. Border Collie Rescue has already home checked the farm, and if he likes Dan, he'll be able to take him home. Dan is young and untrained, but keen, and shows all the right moves, although difficult to stop at this point. The farmer likes Dan, and another dog's found a new home. It's hard to be original now, and the things that you do. As the evening draws in, it's time to feed the dogs that are on two meals a day and get them all out for a last walk before bedtime. But just like you looking back, looking Dot, back, our current lead dog, reluctantly tears herself away from the sheep paddock after being reassured they'll still be there in the morning. Looking back, looking back, the sheep in the six acre field settle down for a late snack and life continues on around us with the smallest residents and larger visitors going about their business. Peace and quiet again descends on the centre under the watchful eyes of Gail and Spot who want to make sure they don't miss anything. The five pups, Gail, John and Sally, go out with Nicky for a late evening walk through the surrounding fields and tracks. Another day draws to a close. Tomorrow will be similar, but different in its ways, as Border Collie Rescue continues to strive to make a difference and give a fresh start to every dog coming into our care. All this depends on volunteers and public donations. We're not a business, and no one is paid. We believe we offer a good alternative to keeping dogs in kennels, and we believe this sort of lifestyle is better for the breed. Please get in touch if you want to get involved and support our work.